Hello again everybody, once more on a lovely sunny afternoon in the Vicarage Garden on a mothering Sunday afternoon which I suspect is like no other that any of us have ever experienced in our lives. A day where we so much want to be with our mothers and pay tribute to them but can't, or so many of us can't. It's also a day when churches across Britain and Ireland have invited everybody to have a day of prayer and most specifically this evening at seven o'clock to put a candle, assuming it's safe, a lighted candle in a window as a sign of hope across our nation, the light of Christ which won't be extinguished. And together with that candle was a prayer which everybody has been asked to pray and I shall pray it now and then read the 23rd Psalm. God our rock and shield, we pray for our land and all nations and places in our world. As many endure the effects of the illness COVID-19 and the coronavirus pandemic. For those who are ill, grant healing. For those who mourn the death of loved ones, bring comfort. For those who care for the sick, grant strength and endurance. For those who are isolated or whose livelihoods are threatened, give courage and hope. For all who take difficult decisions, from governments to health practitioners, give wisdom and compassion to accompany the knowledge and experience that they bring. Deliver us from this disease, we pray, and enable all nations and communities to grow in collaboration and unity as we face this challenge together. Grant, O oh Lord, a legacy of enduring common purpose in facing all that threatens our global common good. We pray in Jesus' name, in the unity of the Spirit. Amen. Many, many years ago, the Psalms were a source of great strength for God's people, none more so than Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He shall lead me in a green pasture and lead me forth beside the waters of comfort. He shall convert my soul and bring me forth in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. Thou shalt prepare a table before me against them that trouble me. Thou hast anointed my head with oil, and my cup shall be full. But thy loving kindness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. May all of us hold firm to the promise of that psalm. Light our candles tonight. Share Christ's light and sense God's peace and blessing on each and every one of us.